اینجا کارت بورد کلیشنه and uh, that, that's Persian I don't understand all of it but I'm Steven I'm Rizwan and we're Cardboard Coalition I, I'm, I'm assuming she said something similar to that in Persian but <laughs> I say hello everyone it's Cardboard Coalition oh yeah see all right so my Persians I know about that much anyways back to what you guys are here to watch um, I'm trying to continue Kind of in a way that series of collecting up the older quest for the old, finding older stuff, not always whatever's new that just comes out that I bought at stores because it's the new hotness, or um, the Kickstarter that just came in. And it seems like um, some of you guys actually like, I'm doing this with Massive Darkness. We're trying to find all the original Massive Darkness for Resvon. But this is one of our original loves and one of the games that she loves. One of the reasons we're actually collecting up Massive Darkness too is for Zombicide. Um, well, this is uh, Black Plague Green Horde. You know, this is one of the extra stuff. And these are the Dead Eye Walkers, right? And I recently got this. It popped up on Amazon. I thought they were kind of joking because it's hard to find for under $100 for the most part anymore, $70 to $100. But they had it for, um, I think, $37. I, I double paid the original cost. I, I paid $40 overall for this when they were originally $20. But let's go ahead and see what we got in here. It's just a bunch of minis. We'll, where will we set this? We'll, we want to set this somewhere where you guys can see. Nah. it's The box is just awkward shaped. All right. So we get cards to put the walkers out. And they're in multiple languages. And I was a little worried because, if I can get this to open, um, I got the Paul Bonner 2 set and it was a Spanish version, right? And it came out, the Paul Bonner 2 guest box was a um, green horde setup. And instead of doing all the languages in that one, they did just a certain language. And the one I got ended up being Spanish. But as you can see, this is in English. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six cards. Uh, looks like six Dead Eye Walkers. And I'm assuming this also says Dead Eye or Walker Dead Eye. Oh, this must be in a different language, but they just say it backwards. That's interesting. But you get six in English. As you can see, they have all the different languages. There you go. There's different languages, right? That's interesting. These actually could be used too, the Walker Deadeye. That's, that's good to know. All right. So a bunch of different languages. I think it shows it on the box. You have English, Spanish, French, German, um, Italian and, uh, oh, sorry. No, yeah. Is that Portuguese? It might be Portuguese. I think it's supposed to be Brazilian. If I, I could be wrong, but in Brazil they speak Portuguese. But I mean, Walker Dead Eye versus Dead Eye Walker. Those can be used. That's interesting. Anyways, back to looking at all this stuff. So you get yourself some cards. Of course, a whole bunch of minis. There's seven of each statue. And then we get this, we'll move this out of the way too. Seven of each sculpt. These are the instructions for how to use the Dead Eye Walkers. Now, the one thing I do know about Dead Eye Walkers and why I was interested in getting them is because they, ooh, no, the sticky stuff, um, they can shoot at you, all right? They retain their knowledge to shoot. Oh, that kind of messed that up. All right, so that's not English. I'm 100% sure it's German. There's our Dead Eye Walkers. I'm gonna try to figure out who the Walker Dead Eyes are. These are the Walker Dead Eyes. Does anybody know this? Despoja de los, maybe Portuguese, maybe Spanish. There's Dead Eye Walkers too. Oh. I think a handful of them use English to say Dead Eye Walker because this is actually our English version. This is another version. All right. So you get the different the different rules for the different languages in there. Here's the rules that we're going to keep out because these are the English rules. 
Let's see, targeting priority, looks like um, the Deadeye Walkers, of course, makes sense. They would be targeted with regular walkers, so you'd have to hit them first. You probably want to because they hit you from range, right? Uh, it says they attack, right? They shoot arrows. Uh, the zone with the most survivors, most noise is kind of what they attack. So that's interesting. All right, you guys are like, that's not what I'm here for. I just know this video is gonna be super short, so I was trying to stretch it out, you know, a minute or so. Let's go ahead. I was a little nervous because the packaging they sent it on was wonky, because this came from the UK. It was really wonky packaging. But, all right. We got us some Deadeye Walkers and we have three sculpts. Here's the first sculpt. So he, let's make sure it focuses in. He's shooting his arrow, and I think I'm probably going to try to do the, um, I use thread, like sewing thread, to make the bowstring. I actually kind of like that. It'd be interesting for so many. All right. Then we got this guy. These are hunters and archers. I think this is supposed to be the archer. Oh, if I can make it focus. He's just walking. It looks like he's hunting. He's got his little knife out. All right, and then this is another archer. So I think these two are the military ones, and then this is just the hunter, but he's getting ready to shoot. See, it'd be nice to have the, the string connected, right? Oh, sorry, 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 focus. Be nice to have that string connected. So here's another one of the actual archers. I'm really excited to actually paint these up. So here, I guess I'll, I'll, I could throw it back in the thing. This is everything you get. So if you're thinking about trying to pick up this package, I mean, you can make your own decision. We're still missing some of the stuff. I wasn't, um, didn't have the money for the Kickstarter, didn't know what was going on when they originally did Black Plague or Green Horde where they put these out again. So I'm slowly collecting it up. And I've noticed with the Zombicide stuff, I'm overpaying a little bit. At least this was with tax and shipping. Well, there's no shipping, but with the tax and all, I got it on Amazon. It was 37 plus tax made it 40. And I think in the Kickstarter, these were 20. So I double paid on this one. The, the, if you guys were watching the massive darkness stuff, I'm trying to keep it low or trying to make it close to the Kickstarter. Zombicide is not as easy. It's, it stuff's going for for way more, but compared to normally seeing this for upwards of $100, the $37 price tag was a sell for me instantly because I had been waiting to find these. That was on Amazon and they don't have them, um, but sometimes you can set up your list in Amazon and they will get things in stock, some of these companies that they didn't have. But there you go, that was just a quick unboxing for some older stuff. Quest for the old, I guess maybe is what I'll start calling this little video series. Quest for the old. It was for the Deadeye Walkers for Zombicide, Black Plague, and Green Horde. I'm Steven. I'm Isai. And we're Cardboard Coalition. Catch you in the next one. Bye.